guys. Very good evening. This is Sundar Ravindranathan here. It's become like a talking tom for me. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Sudiksha. Guys, am I out? Am I visible to all of you? Hi, hello, Shristi, Richard. Hi, Nandini. I'm fine, Nirja. Thank you. Hi, Vaibhav. Lovely to see so many of you guys. Come on. Computer Academy of Information Technology. Wow. Hi, sir. Okay. Hi, Devansh. Wow, wow, wow. Superb, guys. So lovely to see so many of you. So, my dear kids, what are we going to do? We are going to get into a fascinating session. I think last uh, part of the session we already dealt with how the new kings and kingdoms evolved. Remember, we spoke about a few, you know, complicated words of kings. Rashtrakutas. Yeah, do you remember that? Yeah? Yes. So now, let us see the, the continuation of that, where we are going to deal with how these Cholas evolved. What happened to those Rashtrakutas? Okay, how the battle of Ghazini, the Muhammad of Ghazini, what is this, you know, everything is going to, we are going to deal with in the today's session. Be ready guys. So before that, as usual, we will leave a minute for a few more guys to come. I am fine, Nipun. Hello, how are you? Exactly, Sagar. Maharaja, Adiraja. <laughs> yes. So what's happening? Hello, Dwaipayan. Bhavana, shout out. I know, I know. Neeraja is saying, I love history. Wow, awesome. Poor love history, you know, I really like those students because your perspective is more on life than just on knowledge. History is all about life. Hi Rekha, many, many more happy returns of the day. May God bless you. Thank you, Vikram. Oh, you are back. Nipun is also there. Superb, guys. So, let us move on into this part two of New Kings and Kingdoms, right? Okay. So, guys, before that, a very, very interesting uh, piece of information. Vedantu, during this exam season, you will have a lot of doubts. Especially, we don't get doubts on different aspects. Sometimes, we don't understand certain topics really well. So, what we have done is, through our best of, uh, you know, Vedantu teachers, we have created micro courses for every topic, one small course. And you know what? Now, these micro courses are on for, on for you. All right. You know, what is the cost of these courses? You don't believe. It is just one rupee for one course, guys. Amazing, isn't it? So, my dear kids, what are we going to do? Why wait? Just jump in. Note down this link after this session. Jump into this link. Pick as many courses as you want. pdnt.in slash ytmicro. Got it? Superb. Right. Now, before we look at what we are going to cover today, Quick, quick, quick uh, summary about Vedantu, Young Wonders. Guys, here you will have uh, in this channel, especially for people who are new, we will be conducting live sessions on a daily basis, 6th, 7th, 8th grades. All of you will have sessions every day. And what do we cover? Mathematics, Science, English, Social. Awesome. That's not just all. A little more awesome news. After every live session, including today, uh, at the end of the live session, you will have a quiz. A wonderful, wonderful interactive quiz. Isn't it amazing? Superb. So, my dear kids, let us jump into the session now. Hi, Krishan. So, guys, Srivatsa, I saw your email, okay? Now, my dear kids, what are we going to do is we will deal with say probably four or five slides initially and then jump into mentee deal with those four or five questions and then come back 
and then do the remaining and complete the menti quiz so after a few slides we will jump to menti i will conduct the quiz for those whatever we covered and then come back learn the remaining quiz back again okay right here we go so we are going to deal with people kept fighting for wealth especially you know what the kings were eyeing temples temples were very very rich guys at that time so people fought to capture temples also and to show their strength and wealth they built a lot of temples the kings so what are they we will look at it cholas cholas are known for uh, these temples huge huge uh, you know temples some of them are some of the biggest and the best uh, architecture in the world okay we will also see about them splendid temples and the bronze sculptures earlier most of these sculptures the idols of gods goddesses were on uh, you know rocks sculptures typically but then bronze sculpture started even today you will find most of the god and goddess idols are always based on bronze yes okay so agriculture and irrigation what kind of developments these new kings brought in with respect to agriculture and irrigation we speak about a lot of dams right what are reservoirs what is the case and how did they administer was it so advanced the way it is today or how were they doing it these are all things that we are going to get answers for yes okay warfare for health you know uh, when i said wealth typically it was the you know uh, temples that they were eyeing but now let's start from the beginning okay let, we are starting with the most complicated gurjara pradihara rashtrakuta and pala so gurjara pradihara number 1 rashtrakuta number 2 pala these were three prominent dynasties we dealt with them already remember rashtrakutas were not uh, you know actually kings initially right but yes slowly as landlords they became powerful more and more powerful they overthrew their employers which is the kings and they became they took over so palas gurjara pradihara rashtrakuta and pala three prominent dynasties <clears throat> they started they wanted to expand they fought for different places to conquer to control other areas and one was kanaj k n a u j okay so this fight between the three gurjara pradihara rashtrakuta and pala to control this kanaj is called as tripartite struggle now remember this if someone asks you what's tripartite struggle the fight between gurjara pradihara rashtrakuta and palas for kanaj clear now they demonstrated these three kingdoms they demonstrated that power by building large temples rulers were targeting i think i spoke about it rulers were targeting temples because they were very very rich guys my dear students remember this even today there are so many unknown treasures in temples people are not you know ready to explore temples were very rich we know right some time ago remember this uh, one temple padmanabha swami temple in kerala 1 and 1/2 lakh uh, crore worth ornaments 1 1.5 lakh crore worth ornaments imagine so that is that's how rich these temples were yeah okay yes that is one of the richest temples now yes now moving on to mohammad ghazni the sultan mohammad of ghazni you know what is he known for he is known for persistence he kept on fighting wars to win and he wanted to come to india conquer all right for conquering and he ruled afghanistan between 19, 997 and 1030 33 years and he raided the subcontinent almost every year guys every year he did okay it's always called the battle of ghazni because every year used to come try fail go back this was something which was happening with ghazni and his target wealthy temples of india 
Somnath Temple, Ghazni, Muhammad Ghazni was targeting Somnath Temple of Gujarat also. He created a splendid capital city there back in Afghanistan called Ghazni. The name of the capital, uh, you know, capital city is Ghazni. So that's why they say Sultan Muhammad of Ghazni. That's the place. Guys, also remember this. Another interesting piece of information is he sent a scholar called Al Biruni to write about the wealth, the features of the subcontinent. And this Arabic work, this work by Al Biruni was done in Arabic and it was called as Kitab ul Hind. I repeat, Kitab ul Hind. Everyone clear? Priyanka, why are you sad? Guys, give me a yo. Tell this, is everyone clear? Occupy means capturing in their terms, yes. Super. Okay, lovely kids. Lockdown classes for fitness. You didn't understand? Put hashtag Shiksha, I will answer you without fail. Don't worry, okay? Right, moving on. Other kings. So apart from Gurjara Pratihara, Rashtrakuta and Pala, who were the other kings? And uh, Muhammad Ghazni. Chahamanas. They are also called as Chawans. All right, Chahamanas also called as Chawan. They ruled over the region Delhi and Ajmer around this port, you know, around these places. Ch Chauhans. Prithvira Chauhan, three. Prithvira Chauhan, the third. Okay, he ruled between 1168 and 1192, 24 years. He was a famous ruler of that time. Chauhan was a famous ruler. So, Prithvira Chauhan, he defeated Sultan Muhammad Ghori in 1191 but lost to him in 1192. I hope everyone is clear with this. Closer look at Sholas. Look at guys, Sholas cover the entire, uh, they call it as a Kaveri Delta belt. The entire Tamil Nadu, that belt, it goes till Kerala sometimes. Okay, so uh, let's speak and read a little more about Sholas. So now, Guys, I do not know. They speak about, you know, Cholas ruled from Urayu to Tanjaur. Okay, it's a small belt, but it's a very powerful one. Cholas were the subordinates of Pallavas. Right? And Vijayalaya from Urayur, he captured the Kaveri Delta from Muttarayar in the mid-19th century. So Vijayalaya, he captured, all right, he was from Urayur. He captured the Kaveri Delta from Uttaraya in 19th century. Guys, so who built? Vijayalaya built the town of Tanjaur and a temple for goddess Nishum Sudini there. The goddess name is Nishum Sudini. Okay, my dear kids, are you ready for a menti? Before I speak more about Shola, are you ready for a menti? Give me a yo, guys. So before we see, you know, how the Sholas rose to power, we will be going out ahead with a Menti quiz. Be all ready guys, gun and geared, okay? Right, here I go. I'm going to start the Menti. Be ready. Yes, Tristy. Okay. Guys, Menti on your screen now. For people who are new, you have to go to open another browser, separate browser. Type www.menti.com. M-E-N-T-I, menti.com. And it's going to ask you for a code. Type the code 205623. Okay? Quick, 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 quick. We will deal with just three, four questions and then come back. Okay? Done. I repeat www.menti.com and you got to type the code 205623. 
two, three. Great to hear that, Srishti. Well done. Keep it up. Priyanka, we are going to deal in detail. I have not crossed that. I just showed you how Cholas rose to powers. They were the subordinate of Pallavas. But the remaining we will deal with once with this particular quiz is over. After these four questions are over, we will go back. I will explain you. Guys, shall I start? First question. Here we go. Quiz is starting, waiting for players. Okay. Guys, today's quiz is going to be completely interesting. All the seven questions, be ready. Here we go. First question on your screens. Who invaded the Somnath temple? I explained you in Gujarat. Akbar, Muhammad Ghori, Muhammad Ghazni, none of these people. Somnath temple. Ion, I just explained. How did you forget? Time is running. Five more seconds. Yes, time is up. One, one, six of you. Got it right. It was Muhammad Ghazni, guys. He was eyeing that temple in Gujarat Somnath temple. So who got it right? The fastest? Top 10. Rishav, Shami, Chhatrapati, Krithika and Arushi. Chaitanya, Fidal, Menti Man, Richard, Avika and Srinidhi. Bottom 5. Guys, now we will be going on to question number 2. Let me see if you guys are remembering. Come on, come on, come on. Be ready. Which among the following dynasties ruled Tamil Nadu? I just told you guys. My God. Chola, Chalukyas, Rashtrakutas, Chawans. So simple, is it not? Come on, come on, come on. I just told you guys. Cholas, guys. The last slide that we saw was Cholas. From Urayu to Mutarayur, I said Tanjavur, Tamil Nadu, right? 164 of you got this right. So now, but most of you got it right. Well done, by the way. So, Chaitanya, is there a change? Yes. I think Srinidhi is stopping now. Srinidhi at the top. Aryan, Hitesh, Ashay, and Srishti. Top 5. Scarlet. Richard, Anand, Chaitanya, and Kool, Atharva. Next five. Guys, moving on to question number three. Be ready. Mutrayar held power in the Delta region of Kaveri, Krishna, Mahanadi, Godavari. Come on, guys, I explained. Don't break my heart by answering wrong. Time is high, Sangeeta. Up. Wow. Kaveri Delta. I was telling you, right? 148 of you got this right. Superb. Now the next question. Before that, the leaderboard. So, the Menti man, Richard, at the top now. Srinidhi is at number two. Hitesh, Vidal, Ashay, top five. Anant, Srishti, Atharva, Scarlet, fantastic. Next five. Lovely guys. 
Question number four. After this, we're going to go back. Who wrote Kitabul Hind? Who wrote Kitabul Hind? Akbar, Muhammad Ghori, Muhammad Ghazni, Al Biruni. Come on, guys. So simple. Time is running. Al Biruni, 128 of you got this right. Superb, guys. Great. So now. Again, I believe Srinisi is at the top now. Yes, just one point between her and Ashe. Aryan Anand, Richit, top five. Taitanya, Tarun, Dinesh, Ahan, and Fantastic. Next five. Guys, going back? Yes. So now you know how did Chola rose to power. You know, rise to power. They were the subordinate of the Pallavas. But slowly, they captured the Kaveri Delta from Muttarayar in the mid-19th. And that place, they built it as Tanjavur. It is known for that temple of Raja Raja Chola. Okay? All right. So, Raja Raja won most powerful ruler in 985. He expanded control over that entire Delta region. And Rajendra Chola, there is another person. Rajendra Chola, he raided Ganga Valley, Sri Lanka, countries of Southeast Asia. Guys? They are too good in architecture and civil engineering, building temples and all. You should see, it would be amazing. Okay, it is similar to kind of, we know the way we have Puri Jagannath temple, etc. Like this. And huge temples, something, a few things built with one, one rock. It would just be amazing, okay. Developed a navy also. Rajendra Shola, he used a navy to explore other countries and conquer them, capture them. Isn't it amazing? At that point in time, they did all these things. Splendid temples and the bronze sculpture. Guys, big temples of Gangai Konda Sholapuram. Guys, what you see there, right? That is Raja Raja Shola Temple of Tanjavur. Okay. It's called Tanjavur Periyakovil. Right. So it's called, that's why it's called Big Temple of Tanjavur. And Gangai Konda Sholapuram, built by Rajaraja and Rajendra One. Guys, temples were not just places of worship. Now it is kind of a tourist spot like people coming there, they would want to go and visit. Because it's a huge, huge architecture. Okay, making of bronze images at that year, you know, time was simply amazing because you need to have the technology, right? Which is not that easy. So that was also there. Agriculture and irrigation. Moving on. Guys, around the Kaveri Delta, they tried creating water reservoirs, tried to try all measures to preserve water. Okay, channels were created around, you know, different places, you know, uh, channels were created for Kaveri to preserve Kaveri water. Irrigation, because that is an agricultural delta region. Lord, hundreds and thousands of farmers are there. So, irrigation was very, very important for them. Okay, to prevent flood also, they created embankments. Embankments are raised structures to prevent water from getting into the field. Okay, where crops are sown, from, for, to prevent water from getting into the field, they build embankments. Got it? So, they dug wells, tanks to collect rainwater. At that time itself, rainwater conservation was a big project happening. Got it? Guys, when is it? It is in the 10th century, guys. Just imagine. Okay, kids, is everyone clear till this? Give me a yo, come on. Right, 
right administration the administration what they it's called ur the lands of the peasants it's called ur and nadu nadu means the group of urs okay so village council and nadu they perform there are something called village council and nadu they performed several administrative functions they took care of their local area administration for example if there is a problem they have their own panchayats where they deliver justice and they also collect taxes from people for administration clear so remember you have to remember two things ur is the small land settlement that peasants have that's called ur nadu is a group of such urs two things now who who handle the administration there is something called local governance village councils and nadus at that time itself local governance was there even today guys people are struggling with local governance people had it at that time itself they perform different administrative functions right from they acted as if they are a court if there is a problem they go to the local governance councils get justice amazing isn't it right guys remember this with respect to cholas the rich peasants had a lot of control over nadu that area big area number 2 chola kings gave titles like move in the velan and arayar arayar means chief tough to pronounce right move in the velan and arayar arayar means chief to rich land owners people who are very rich peasants right for them the kings gave titles because they are very rich and they were also having the domination and control so move in the velan and arayar they keep telling it so that you remember so so to rich landlords land owners the chola kings gave these kind of titles number 3 important responsibilities in the entire state were given to those landlords so my dear kids what should you remember overall if you look at it with respect to the you know the chola kingdom the landlords had a lot of control over nadus which is a huge area and for rich landlords people who owned a lot of land okay and chola kings gave them a lot of appreciation in the form of titles etc and important responsibilities of the state was also given to them so now tell me who owned who had a lot of control over this uh, chola kingdom they had two very important settlements one is called ur one is called nadu and who had a lot of domination swetu kings and kingdoms you will have a lot of things to remember so but if you look at how they would have done it you will start feeling it interesting if you just merely look at it as information it becomes boring you have to be careful in with social studies got it yes all right it is these landlords who had rich peasants who had a lot of control types of land guys this is too much of information for you you have to deal with this very care, uh, you know carefully velan vagai okay it's also called velan vagai nothing but land of non brahmin peasants brahmin peasants were also there non brahmin present proprietors who owned those lands they are called velan vagai brahmadeya is land that was gifted to brahmanas i will ask you questions on this be ready brahmadeya is land gifted to the brahmanas shalaboga shalaboga is nothing but land for maintenance of school guys remember this one after the other devadana and tirunamattukani devadana devadana and tirunamattukani land gifted to the temples okay palli shandam is land given to jaina institutions so five types of lands are there yeah okay guys 
let's do one thing i'm going to give you guys 30 seconds time quickly remember these names i'm going to ask you let me see how many of you are able to say quickly ekas yes yes we will be going back to menti now after this okay be ready guys give me a yo once you see i can give you a mnemonic for remembering what is it but the names you have to remember these are nouns okay i repeat vellan vagai for non brahmin peasants brahma deya for brahmanas brahma most the both the places is there remember chala boga is for school devadana and tirunamattukani is temples palli chandam is institution palli means institution land donated to jaina institutions okay ready shall we try okay guys tell me this land given to jaina institutions what is it come on ai sanjeevan come on tell me land given to jaina institutions wow arshi killing it only chandam okay land given to uh, non brahmin persons yes verlan vagai super now na land given to the brahmanas yeah come on brahma yes brahma they ask then one more thing the next question is uh, yeah land given for maintenance of school let us see land given for maintenance of school shalaboga well done who was that arushi super killing it now arushi awesome so guys remember once more just for you to remember brahmanas often received land grants which is called brahmadeya we know it a large number of brahmin settlements even today are there in around the kaveri valley of tiruchi and tanjavur each brahmadeya was looking after uh, was looked after by an assembly okay so that land was taken care by an assembly associations of traders were also there they are called nagaram even if you go to the state of tamil nadu today you will still find boards called as nagarams okay right so guys before we jump to menti last slide be ready number 1 sabha has separate committees so inscriptions what you know there is a place called uttarameru Uttarameru is a place in Tamil Nadu, uh, in the Kaveri Delta region, Tanjavur, near that. So there were inscriptions found which gave this information. What is the information? There was something called Sabha which had separate committees to administer different things. Number two, okay, eligible members' names of that Sabha were written as small tickets in palm leaves and given. palm leaves three those tickets were put in an earth pot earthware pot right an young boy will be asked to come and take one ticket out of it and that is how members of each committee were elected guys how interesting is it at that time look at their election system they had a sabha sabha had committees for administering the entire place locality so all the eligible member names will be put inside a pot and it will be written in a palm leaf and put inside a pot young boy would be asked to pick a leaf what a whoever name comes right they would be elected got it right so my dear kids jumping on to menti give me a yo guys by the way before you give me a yo tell me 
Tell me, right? Everyone is clear till what happened? I know you have a lot of stuff to remember. My request is go through this video again and again. Shall we do something interesting? Before I jump to Menti, tell me, okay, what is the name of the land that was given to uh, non Brahmin peasants? Sometimes you have to go back and remember it. What is the name of the land given to non Brahmin peasants? Well done, Wagai guys. You guys forgot. Yeah, well done, Wagai. B -E L N A N B A G A I. Come on. Be on it, guys. Okay, jumping on to Menti. We have three more questions if I'm not wrong. Let's see who is at the top now. So, question number five. Group of Ur, it formed something called as Village Nadu Assembly District. Group of Ur, it formed something called as Village Nadu Assembly District. Come on, come on, come on. Last five seconds. Now do 135 of you got this right. Super. You guys are remembering now. Ur is a small land owned by peasants generally. And it's a multiple Ur put together. It's called Nadu. It's a larger locality. So leaderboard. Ashay is at the top, I believe. Followed by Srinidhi, Arya and Richard. Chaitanya, five. Next five, fantastic, Anusha, Anshul, Ahan, and Rehan. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, respectively. Jumping on, question number six. Who defeated Mohammed Ghori in 1191? Rajaraja won, Rajendra won, Vijayalaya, and Prithviraj Chauhan. Guys, go back, remember. Yeah, you guys remember. Prithviraj Shahan, the yes, the third. He is a famous ruler there. 118 of you got this right. So now the leaderboard. Let's jump in. So guys, Ashe, Srinidhi, Chaitanya, Anisha, Nahan. So tell this, you guys are at the top. Rehan, Scarlet, Satya, Mayur, and Apurva. Last question, guys. Probably the last question. Be ready. Pick out the Shola king who developed a navy for expedition. Raja Raja won, Rajendra won, Vijayalaya, and none of them. He went to South Asian as well as you know Sri Lanka and South Asian countries. Do you guys remember? Sweetheart should be the last. This one. Let's check. Or maximum one more than this. Generally, this should be the last. Let's see. Hmm. Rajendra, well done guys. Raja Raja, no. Rajendra won. He had a, built a navy for this expedition to conquer different lands. Expand his territory. 99 of you got this right. So what is it going to do to the leaderboard? Ashe. Guys, I think Ashe is going to win today's quiz. Yes, Ashe and Mole Wolf Boy. Well done. Well done, beta. Keep it up. 6,858 points. Srinidhi, Chaitanya, Hanisha, 
Scarlet, Apurva, Satyam, everyone, Tane, everyone in the leaderboard, guys. Many, many congratulations to all of you. And not just in the leaderboard, everyone who attempted the quest, fought it out till the end. Many, many congratulations. Well done, guys. Guys, generally, there are few chapters where there are a lot of data points. Very important that you guys should remember these data points. So sometimes when, when someone is giving information after information, it becomes too much to take in. So my request, leave it to this, you know, get absorbed. After some time, look at the video again. You will understand, you will be able to remember the remaining also after that. Clear? So my dear kids, hope you liked the video, which is very, very important. Hit the like button and let me know if you like that uh, because your feedback is very important for me. Okay? I need to stay motivated, right? And yes, the new ones, you will have live quizzes every day, live sessions and quizzes every day. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much, my dear kids, for joining the session. Until I meet you in the coming session, this is myself, Sundar Rabindranath, and signing off, guys. Bye-bye.